So lately I've been really into audio plugins and sound in general, if you can tell by my latest video in this one right here. And today I want to show you how you can create this super cool turntable spin down effect in DaVinci Resolve entirely for free, but you need a plugin called Vinyl by Isotope. So go to isotope.com or click the link in the description of this video. Go all the way down until you see the explore product section and just click on Vinyl. Now this will bring you to the Vinyl website and you can download it for free right here. But you will have to create an account. And after setting up the account, the download should start automatically and you will get redirected to a new site which houses your serial or registration key. And this key is pretty important because we need it later on so keep that site open after the download is finished you can just simply install it via the installing guide super simple and once installed you can open up resolve and first of all you want to create a new timeline just by right clicking in your media pool going to timelines create new timelines but you can completely neglect the timeline settings just for now then you want to go up to effects go down to audio effects vst and right here you should see vinyl click and drag this vinyl effect onto audio layer number one and a new new window will pop open and this window is just for the first time that you're going to use this plugin here is where you enter your registration key that you got from the website or via email just enter your name and your email one more time click on submit now you're done. Now you can just shut down DaVinci Resolve and reopen it and you're good to go to use this plugin. So let me show you how to create this cool effect. First of all, we're gonna need some music or audio on our timeline, just like so. Then we wanna hop over to the Fairlight page. I'm gonna go over to the Mixers tab on the right, go down to where it says Effects, come to Distortion, VST, and then Vinyl to apply the Vinyl plugin to this whole track. And right now you can see the interface of this plugin, but we're mainly gonna focus on the spin down button right here. But you can see there are no keyframe buttons. So we have to use the Fairlight automation. And in order to use the automation, let's just close this window right here. So we have to first turn that on. So come up to your toolbar right next to where your play buttons are. This button toggles on the automations. And this button on the right toggles on everything else. And under enables, we have to tell DaVinci Resolve exactly what it is that we wanna automate, whether it is pan, equalizer, compression, gate, limiter, but in this case, it is plugins. So select the plugins button right here, come over to the left to your audio track number one, and you can see this drop down menu right here. So click that, come down to where it says plugins, come over to vinyl, and right now you can see a list of all the parameters that we can automate. But in this case, as I told you before, we want to focus on the spin down. So I'm going to select spin down, but still nothing has really changed. So right next to the drop down menu, you can see this icon right here, which turns on automations for this track or basically the recording. So we're going to turn that on. And right now you can see that at the bottom of your track, you have a red line. So once we have that, we want to come over to the mixer on the right. We want to go to effects, vinyl, and then click this middle button right here to open up our controls. So I'm just going to hit play right now and once the point in time arrives where I want the spin down effect to start I'm gonna select the spin down button in the audio interface right here and when we come to the point in time where I want to release the spin down and go back to normal music I'm gonna hit this button one more time so I'm gonna select it right here And now I want to go back to regular music. Right now you can see that our line has changed quite drastically. It went from the bottom all the way up and then back to the bottom. Now you don't have to be super precise with this because I'm going to zoom in. You can see those knobs at the bottom right here. And you can just simply select them, click and drag them any way you want them to be to fine tune where you want this effect to start and end. And I want this effect to end right here. Then I'm gonna come over to the left to where I have this effect starting and I just want this effect to start right at this beat right here. So I'm gonna click and drag this slightly towards the left like so. So that's a wrap. That's how easy it is to create a super cool turntable spin down effect using Isotope's vinyl plugin. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please consider leaving a like, comment and maybe even a subscribe if you haven't already. But otherwise, I'm gonna hope you're having an amazing day. I'm gonna see you next week. Bye.